Happy New Year, everybody. I'm Greg Kite, and this is your January 2012 Accounting Update Ethics Edition. Put your hands together for my good buddy, Greg Kite. <laughs> Hello, good evening. My name, uh, my name is Greg Kite, and this is your January 2012 Accounting Update Special <laughs> Ethics Edition. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna swear tonight. Shut up. The, uh, the Securities and Exchange Commission has some rules that govern the practice of CPAs. They will bust your ass if you uh, are involved in any improper professional conduct. And they defined improper professional conduct as being anything that is more than simple negligence, but less than recklessness. What the hell is that supposed to mean? is more than completely ambiguous, but less than totally f***ing unintelligible. <laughs> the, uh, the IRS, the IRS can bar a CPA from practicing in front of them if the IRS determines that the CPA is incompetent. The IRS can judge that anybody is incompetent? <laughs> If the IRS tells you you're incompetent, that's like a gorilla that knows sign language telling you that you're stupid. <laughs> Think it through. The, uh, the, the AICPA, the American Institute of CPAs, they will suspend or terminate your membership if you are convicted of a crime that lands you in jail for a year or more which I'm sure is the reason why there are so few prostitutes with current CPA licenses. <laughs> in the, uh, in, the, in the, code of, the Code of Professional Conduct, they regularly uh, use the term member, and they define that to mean, in the context, a member of the AICPA or an international affiliate of the AICPA, not penis. <laughs> Article 1 of the Code of Conduct says that as, as CPAs, we have to exercise moral judgment in all of our activities. In all of our activities, accountants, so puff, puff, pass. <laughs> because it's the right thing to do. <laughs> or so I'm told by young Buck, who I'm sure is a... Shut up. Uh, <laughs> We, and we, this is an article two of the Code of Conduct says this. It says that we as CPAs, we have to discharge our professional responsibilities with genuine interest in serving the public. I have to, I am bound to be genuinely interested in serving. I can't fake it like the waitresses at Hooters. I gotta be... <laughs> And uh, Article 3, <laughs> Article 3 is all about integrity, and it says that integrity requires CPAs to be both honest and candid, so therefore, yes, those pants do make your ass look big. <laughs> hey, I work hard for my CPA license, and I'm not going to let your fat ass <laughs> take it away from me. Guys, I'm great. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for watching the update. Uh, you can catch me on Twitter at Greg Kite. Uh, you check out my website, uh, gregkite.com. All the videos are on there. Plus, there's information about uh, my show. I I'm going to be in Atlanta at the end of uh, March doing uh, doing some uh, the, the Laughing Skull Comedy Festival. So check it out there. Uh, Listen to the podcast. If you haven't let yet, uh, Thrivecast. Me and Jason Blummer do a monthly podcast. It's awesome. And last but not least, if your business needs a hilarious uh, video, me and my buddy John Shaver, we just started a business called Damn Good Hush Puppies. We'll make your video for you. Uh, thanks so much once again for watching the accounting update.